creative mind. You want to break limitation, creative mind. Now let me tell you this. The next big thing to happen globally is Africa. The next big thing to happen is Africa. You know why? Every problem is a transaction. Every problem is a business. Wake up, wake up. Because all around you, there's money on the left, there's money on the right. You need to understand that one of the ways to break financial limitation is to have a creative and active mindset. I met a billionaire in Abuja. He should be about uh, 48 now. He's a young billionaire. Then I met him about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. This young man did his youth service in Abuja. From youth service in Abuja, as at that time, he noticed that in the next few years in Abuja, accommodation would be a problem because people were just trooping into Abuja that time. You know what he did? He applied for an estate land. They approved it and built his fourth estate. How did he do it? All he did, a youth copper, listen to this, a youth copper, applied for an estate land. They approved. So what he did, he did the design and got people to pay for the buildings. So they paid for the buildings. He did the first estate, did the second estate. I met him when he was doing the third estate. As at the time he was doing the third estate, he was worth 14 billion. A youth copper, somebody who went to do youth service in Abuja. Whereas some people went there to snap picture. Sefi. Hey, see me. Pose. But somebody got there and saw a problem and took advantage of the problem. And what happened? I met him then. He was doing his third estate. And he said, Man, God's servant, I'm what? Today, we are worth 14 billion. Why? Just by identifying a problem. Now hear this. Oil. The lifespan of oil is limited. Because there are cars today that don't use gas. I mean electric cars. There are cars today that are electric cars. Things are changing. Technology is advancing. Listen to this. You want to position as one of the wealthiest men of this age. There are five areas your mind must be active on. Number one, no matter the problem, people must live in houses. So real estate will never, never crash. Because people will always require to live in homes. Number one is real estate. But let me tell you, real estate is different from being an agent. So you understand, Papa said real estate. <laughs> I have a house. <laughs> I take 10%. I don't know. Now, now, you need to go and study. The days of looking for jobs are over. The days of looking for job in government, looking for job in oil company, those days are over. You will be granted as a graduate if you are looking for a job. The season where we are is the season of creative and active mind. Now, we don't look for a job, we create jobs. You didn't hear what I said. We don't look for jobs now. That's where we are. We create jobs. You are not poor because Satan is powerful. You are not poor because there's an altar that is holding you. You are poor because you have no service and you have no product. That's why you are poor. Every If you go to the millionaire uh, Forb list, when they mention the names of people, they tell you how they got the money. This one is solving this problem. This one is solving this problem. This one is solving this problem. So money is in value. So the value you give is what determines how much currency you attract. do I break financial limitation? Creative mind. Your mind must be creative. Hey! If I pour oil on your head and you don't have product of service, I have just embarrassed you. Prayer warrior. You will end up worried if you don't have product. Because money does not respond to prayer. Money responds to product and service. It's when you now have a product and service. That's where prayer becomes powerful. 
So when we are praying, we are not beating the air. We are praying on target. We are praying on purpose. I wish I'm talking to someone here. Creative and active mind. Creative and active mind. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Is what you have inside that you put outside. Everything in your environment is a product of what you have inside you. So ladies and gentlemen, don't allow pastors, prophets embarrass you. No matter the prophecy and prayer, if you don't have product, you don't have service, nothing will happen. Quote me, nothing. So pastor, what are you saying? Look for problem. I just told you now, real estate is a problem in Nigeria. Agriculture is a problem because no matter the situation, somebody must eat. You need food for survival. Is that not correct? Now, before you become an embarrassment to your cousin, to your uncle, begging executively, begging everybody, people see your cause, they can't pick. Please, find a problem and start solving so you can, your dignity can be enhanced.